Okay, so I happen to be at a store near my house, and I happen to see this for uh, six dollars. And uh, I immediately just thought, oh, that's a great deal, two and a half pounds of sulfur, six dollars. Well, uh, I didn't really look at it before I bought it, and it turns out there's a lot of uh, other things in here besides uh, the sulfur it claims to be. So I'm going to show you a way to to separate these. My original idea was to go through and pick out all the pieces of calcium sulfate and bentonite clay and separate all the sulfur. And the sulfur, they look like little tablets. They have a flat bottom, they're kind of dome shaped. And uh, most of them are yellow color, but some of them actually have a little bit of clay on them, so they're actually a darker color. But this was my original idea, and after spending about an hour separating these and only getting about 30 grams of sulfur, I realize I'm about to figure out a different method. To do this, you're not going to need any fancy lab equipment. You could just simply use a uh, a pot like that. I'm using this uh, blender uh, top right here to blend stuff in. Uh, just because it's nice and large, it's got a pouring spout and uh, a little sifter. And then I got my uh, sulfur mix here. And then I just cut the top off of this uh, jug. And uh, you'll see what all this does here in a minute. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump sulfur mix in here. I'm going to get a good amount. Now when I dump this in, it's going to turn a really dark red, kind of brown color actually. And it's, it's going to look kind of funky, but that's okay. That's actually a good thing if we want to get that out of there. Now if you know anything about elemental sulfur, is that it does not dissolve in water. And uh, neither really does the calcium sulfate. It doesn't really dissolve in the water that much either. But it does break down and it softens a lot. And uh, that will allow it to pass through this uh, sifter or this, this screen here. Here it is after a few minutes of stirring. And as you can see, it's a really, really nasty color. And then when I stir it up again, you can see it all floats to the top. And it sinks back down. And uh, this is ready to be filtered off now. I've been stirring it for about five minutes. Now as you can see, it looks like a mess. It's like a like a paste-like stuff. But uh, that's actually a good thing. And you may not see too much sulfur in there until we start getting some of the paste out of there. So what we got to do is just uh, take our water here and uh, just keep pouring it through and just keep mixing it. And uh, over time, after uh, about five minutes, usually shouldn't take more than five minutes, we'll uh, separate most of it out. As you can see at this point, there's a lot more sulfur in there. And uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's a bright yellow color to it. And um, there's still some uh, mushy stuff in there, and it's still the calcium. And I still need to separate that out. But um, once it comes to this point, I no longer need that spoon, and all I gotta do is pour water in it and sort of shake it like this. And um, it'll pretty much rinse itself off. Okay, here it is after I've done the step twice. And uh, seems to be about 50 grams, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Alright, thanks for watching.